Aloha, my internet family. How are you? Welcome back to Practical Printing. So anybody that follows me on Twitter might have noticed lately I've had a fascination with outlet covers and switch plates. So I um, thought we could have some fun with that in Fusion 360 with the 3D printer and see what we can come up with. Let's do it. Okay, so uh, the first couple that I came up with was playing around with the Joel Telling High Five and uh, did the, um, the regular outlet style and the decor style and they work well. Joel pointed me towards a website that provides SVG files for the shape. Um, it's flaticon.com and I have provided the links down below to this particular icon and all the other ones I'm going to show you tonight as well. Uh, the icons are provided free of charge as long as they're attributed and the authors over there are doing some great work. Also created this Hawaiian sea turtle and I have a few others, a, a tiki and a few others that are printing out. But let's jump into Fusion 360 and I'll show you how we did this. Okay, so to make your own outlet cover or switch plate, the first thing that you're going to need is an SVG file. Joel Telling, as I mentioned, pointed me to this website, flaticon.com, which has some great models, and many of them are free to use uh, if you provide attribution to the authors. Um, so one of the ones that we're going to do is called Heavy Metal, I believe. It's... Um, it's a form of rock horns. So let's search for that and I'll show you. Looks something like this. Looks something like this. And all you need to do is click on the SVG and download it. And then from there, we're going to jump over into Fusion 360. Now, I've provided two templates for you. One is the Decora template, and the other is for a standard light switch. Uh, just as an example, that's what the High Five looks like for a regular light switch and of course the turtle that I showed you. So we're going to start with the, uh, the light switch blank for this example. You'll notice that there's a frame around it which are construction lines and that's why they're dashed and then there's solid lines for both the holes uh, for the screws and for the switch cutout. Now I went ahead and did a save as on this and we're going to call it a rock, uh, rock horns. We're going to go in and we're going to edit the sketch. We can shrink this down a little bit so that it's in the center of our screen. Then you're going to go to Insert, Insert SVG. Going to select your file. And I have it here, heavymetal.svg. And you're going to be able to bring it in. Now, you just grab this little box to move it around and then there's a little arrow here that you can drag to size it. So what you want to do is you want to get it so that it's large enough to cover the plate. So I need to go just a hair bigger there I think. And then, oops, whoa, run away mouse. And then you're going to want to position that Somewhere like so. Let's just take that a hair bigger. And voila. We'll okay, now we can stop the sketch. What you'll want to do now is to create an extrusion. And we're going to select. these inner areas here and we're going to extrude those out to three millimeters. And that's going to look something like that. We're going to go back to our sketch, hit edit sketch again, then we're going to go hit create extrusion again. This time we're going to select our other areas and we're going to do a five millimeter extrusion so it's a little bit prouder. 
We're going to hit OK. And then now if we give it a little bit of a tilt, now we have our extruded rock horns um, light switch cover. Now you can at your option put chamfers or fillets on the edges if you'd like to round those over. Uh, the only thing that you really have to do is you want to create a chamfer on the two holes for the screws like so and you're going to make them 2.5 millimeters and as you can see what that does is that just creates a countersink for the screws that are going to hold this to the wall plate. Next you're going to just hit make 3D print you're going to make sure that everything is selected basically all of your bodies there. You're going to hit OK and then you're going to give that a name and save it somewhere as uh, an STL. And that's it, you're done. You can now send this to the printer and create your very own light switch. Okay, that's it for today. I hope this gives you a head start on trying to make some of these for yourself. Um, again, I will post the Fusion 360 template files that I started off with as well as the high fives as an example. Uh, up on Thingiverse so that y'all have access to that as a starting point. And I hope this provides a good spring off for you guys to create some of your own creations with it. If you like what we're doing here on the channel, please be sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you're notified when the next videos are out. And if you're shopping around, uh, please feel free to use those affiliate links down below. It helps the channel out and it doesn't cost you anything extra. Special thanks to all of my Patreon sponsors for helping keep the channel running as well. With that, I bid you all aloha.